Hello, guys. Welcome to Custom Reactions once again. Thank you so much for always liking and sharing. Of course, subscribing to the channel. We love and appreciate you guys so, so much. We really, really do. Don Ifeski is not here today uh, because he's chilling. But of course, while Don Ifeski is on break, we have the main man himself, Big Lala, showstopper. You know, still we get up. Come on, I beg. No, no. You know, still we get we, we, you know, still we get pocket app money. <laughs> I don't get again. I don't get them again. <laughs> You know, say we get pocket half money. We know this so far. Ah, no, that one no enter. That one no enter. That half no enter. Anyways, guys, uh, you know it's uh, another season of Living Nigeria, and of course, I know Big Lala has another, you know, another rap song in the offing, another rap song in the studio coming very, very soon. <laughs> this one is going to smash all the charts. Don't worry, Big Lala is coming. Well, I'm day, I'm tired. <laughs> Anyways, uh, welcome to the show today, uh, Big Lala. Um, we know, you know that there are, there are songs and there are songs. Nigerian artists have done really, really well in the past couple of years to export the music out there. We know Bonaboy done really well from Ye to uh, on the low certifications here and there. You know, Techno also has a lot of, you know, big numbers on YouTube. Whiskey as well, David as well, Kiss Daniel as well has done that. Kiss Daniel, like they say, Mr. No Bad Songs. Boga is one major, major, you know, hit. Can we say Boga is still the biggest Nigerian song of 2022 till date? Can we say that? Bigger than Finesse. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a close one, yeah, but I mean, it depends on how you're looking at it, right? Um, finesse, you can say, I mean, uh, Feels, feels, yeah, yeah. Uh, to get some sort of reaction outside of um, Nigeria, outside of Africa for that song, which was mm. really, uh, for the song, right? And then it, it did, it did pretty well. I mean, feels is so far is even performing in Caribbean countries. Yeah, and and the BT, the BT um, uh, pre party yeah. as well. And all thanks to, all thanks to um, Finesse, the song you get, and also his. The connection that he's got um, with Warner Music. Warner Music. He set up a couple of good things for him and he was able to do really well uh, with mm. that song. Mm. Boga, on the other hand, is what some people may want to refer to as a local champion of a song. But if, it depends on what you're looking at. You want to look yeah. at worldwide acceptance and all mm. that. Yes, Finesse mm. obviously tops Boga in that list, but Boga mm. didn't do it badly, to be honest. Mm. He didn't do it badly. Mm. In the fact that um, I mean, they've obviously been handled by two different teams. Right? Yeah. One by Warner, the other is by uh, Empire. Yeah. And I'm not so sure Empire did it really. I mean, did they really, really believe in Buga like that? Mm. I don't. The sort of budget they put in place for Buga is almost the same. I don't think it's the same as what yeah. uh, Warner did for Finesse. <clears throat> Warner did more for Finesse mm. than Empire did yeah. for. That being said, it doesn't, it doesn't mean Buga was a feeder. Yeah. Buga. To me, is a hit because I think Buga cuts across a different kind of demography mm. that I really, really enjoy the music. It's yeah. just unfortunate, yeah, mm -hmm. that those of people they are not the digital. <laughs> Big Lella, there is a comment here, you know, uh, from someone who um, said, "Oh, I know we all love Buga so much. I know Buga is the Nigerian national anthem of 2022." The old will sing to Buga at the parties. It is the anthem of our mommies and daddies rocking the parties and everything. The children in secondary schools and primary schools are singing Buga. On social media, we're also buzzing to Buga. It was number one, you know, um, most exam song in the world at some point. Um, everyone loves Buga. It is still trending. It is in an instant hit. George Ware dance to Buga. Go to the UK, they love Buga as well. But it is not a global hit. He said, consider essence, consider fairness. Big Lala, what do you think? Is Buga a global hit or not? Global hit or not? Well, see, like I said, one, one cannot be, uh, I mean, the, there are several factors to it, which I would say I understand perfectly well. What this person said is, is, is totally on point, right? You can't tell me that nobody in the UK has heard, of course, people in the UK have heard Buga. We have people in Caribbean have not heard. Do you know how many uh, videos of 
uh, people dancing to Bugatti. There is on on TikTok and co. Mm. Right? It's all there. It's all there. Yeah. Even as even as I right now, in terms of streams and all that, fitness is kind of forgotten whether you like it or not. Bugatti is yeah. up there. Forget what you see on Apple Music chat because that's not the only chat that there is in Nigeria. Out country. there, yeah. Buga is doing so well on Boomplay. Buga is doing so well on YouTube, which are actually platforms you should consider that has more uh, listenership, especially in Nigeria. Hmm. YouTube, everyone uses YouTube. Buga is, is all around there on a chart that actually checks out everything, that checks out what uh what uh, that, that that checks out different platforms and collates and uh, Buga is number four number four or number six or something at, at the moment right and it's been there consistently in the top 10 before you see a fitness we can i know fitness has been out for a while but fitness has died down whether you like it or not fitness got tired into a lot of people people just said oh, 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 fitness, and they got tired of it People are not tired of Buga. Finesse did not cover this, this demography of people that you cannot capture digitally. Finesse did not mm. cover it. That's, that's a fact. But Buga is there. You can't capture the demography of what Finesse. People are doing parades out. People are doing parades in Canada, in USC. And all people that are representing Nigeria, and what song are they playing? They are playing Buga. Are people playing Finesse? No, they're not. But you can't capture those people. It's, you capture the different demography of people. It's so simple and it's done really well. And it's still doing really well. I would want to err on the side of, yes, Buga is a global hit. Maybe it is not up to the standard of, let's say, the essence. The only difference is none of these American people that we hmm. do uh, seems are that seem to it. You get, I mean, <clears throat> but that's not the end. That's not the only thing that matters. That's, that should not be the only thing that matters. Buga is doing well. You people want to see it at that level, which is understandable. But it's doing well by itself. It's doing well in Nigeria. It's doing well in Africa. A whole president of the nation is dancing yeah, to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Small children, if they see it, they are dancing to it. Everywhere. In Nigeria, outside Nigeria, they are dancing to it. If you have not played Buga in, in parties in Nigeria and in so many parts of Africa, you will never start. The song is a jam. Not saying finesse is not a jam. We can't use finesses. I mean, the direction that Finesse went was mm. a different direction. The, the direction of where Buga is going is indeed a different direction. I would say it's a global hit to an extent, but we can't use that as a yassi to judge which one. Is, is, there, is, there, is there something like a half global hit or a quarter global? Because, and do you think, do you think it is fair that this song, Buga, despite its popularity in Nigeria, around Africa, even across the world, you know, is being considered or is being leveled up against an essence. Is it fair enough? No, it's not fair. How many songs can you level up with essence? How many songs? And now, essence was successful to, a, to, a, to an extent, right? But successful in the, in the market, the biggest market in the world. Yes or no? Yeah. Was successful. And yeah. we get it. But well, isn't there a bigger song that's done more than excess? Isn't there? Mm. There is. There's a, there's a certain CK who has done way better than essence. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. 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 Don't even match. Essence doesn't even stand a chance. Yes. It's there. So people want to call, they want to start comparing other people. They should go and compare with the, the numbers, the numbers that they find. Then they go compare with, with CK. Then they compare with CK. So yeah, they should they should leave essence out of it. It's it cannot, of course, it's done really well. CK has done really well, but other people, I mean, Kizana is getting the, his most uh is getting the most of of in terms of uh Recognition right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's dope. That's dope enough for him. That's dope enough for him. Okay. Um, for for Kiss Daniel for Empire, would you say that um, where they are right now, you know, with Buga across the world, is the final boss of what you think that it can still become a global global hit? It can do more. That there's no denying the fact because it needs to do more outside in those places. The only reason we consider fitness that global hit is because of the numbers he has done outside of Nigeria, right? Yeah. It has penetrated there. It is not, it is no uh, secret that- That's Buga, the word, that's the word. Has it penetrated into- No, of course not, of course not. Where Buga has penetrated is, is, the, is the places where 
like I said, are not captured digitally. It doesn't have any monetary effect or it doesn't, but you can feel it around. You can see most of these old people, they wouldn't consider them with streaming platforms. I change that in the app. Yeah. But they know the song, they dance to the song, but you can't capture all those things. Even those old people say, you don't go see them for TikTok, they dance along. You won't see it there. What Buga needs to do is just capture um, the areas where Fines has captured because that's where that's where it tops it. I would want to see yeah. data of uh, Africa for both Buga and um, uh, Fines. I think, I think perhaps Buga might from, for example, in Nigeria or Africa, it will. Mm. When you move away from there and you now go to the biggest music market in the world, which is the US, which is the UK, mm. I'm pretty sure that Fines, of course, it trumps it because it's gone viral in those places. Yeah, and that's the major difference. Um, to an extent, if I would say Buga, like I said, to an extent, it is a global hit, but it can do more. It can really do more. I, I accept, but I would want to say in Nigeria, uh, it's much of a much bigger song than Finesse. If, if in Africa too. To an extent, yes, I would say so. Anyways, guys, let's have your thoughts on this one. Kiss Daniels Buga, arguably, you know, uh, the biggest, uh, you know, Nigerian African song in the year 2022. Everyone has been singing, go, lo, 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 go, lo, lo, lo. Mama, the papa, the children, the grandchildren, everyone, you know, is going lo, 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 lo on this one. He's an Els Buga. Of course, that one featuring techno as well. We cannot forget that one, that techno, you know, uh, is on that song. I don't know why when we discuss this thing, we just say, ah, nah, oh, yeah, 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 there's a techno there. Anyways, Kiss Daniel and techno with uh, Buga. What do you think is Buga? This is a question, yes or no, with answers, with defense, you know, um, lines and everything. Is Buga by Kiss Daniel and techno a global hit or not? Someone here says it is not a global hit. It is popular in Nigeria, in Africa, Everyone loves it. Everyone plays at parties, even the president of you know, African countries, but it is not a global hit. Take you, essence, and of course, finesse. What exactly do you think about this one? Ah, okay. Okay, no problem. Let me not bring up another this thing because... Yeah, he CK. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, he didn't even add, you know, uh, add a CK there, but of course, uh, you know, love wanting to as well. Let's have your thoughts on uh, this one. And... Um, I saw another tweet. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, because I want to they go. The person is even saying, even last last is bigger than it globally. But yeah, you know, we will we will discuss. At the moment, last last is doing a badness. So I don't think there's anybody that can that can top what last last is doing. Yes, mm. last last is doing badness at the moment. And yes, that's 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 <laughs> facts. Yeah, that's facts. Nobody is touching. Nobody is touching what that song is doing right now. No. Right, right, yeah. Anyways, guys, let's have your thoughts. Is Buga a global hit? or not put your comment down below we'll see you guys on the next one please stay safe and god bless